so this is, this is going to be an example of a question you may encounter on, on the GD test. So again, in, in reading this, um, we have um, during a power outage, many use the flashlight to move around our home. The flashlight is composed of wires and a light bulb enclosed in a plastic casing. It requires batteries to operate. Drag and drop the different types of energy involved in turning on the flashlight and using it. So again, when you have a question, it's always a good idea to reread the, what you're actually looking for. So this drag and drop, the different types of energy involved in turning on the flashlight and using it. So it looks like these guys down here are gonna be dragged around. They're gonna be moved around. It looks like they're gonna be moved to, to these little areas here. So that's the drag and drop part. There's different types of energy. So there's sound, light, electrical, nuclear, and chemical energy. So what I'm going to have to probably do is drag, it looks like three of these up here and two of them are going to stay down here as not worthy. They don't fit the, the question. So now that I've kind of understand the question, I have to look at the information. So again, many used to flash like to move around their home. Okay. The flashlight is composed of wires and a light bulb. Wires and a light bulb, to me, that reminds me of, of electrical energy because electrical energy travels through wires. It requires a battery to operate. A battery is a form of chemical energy. A battery is made up of chemicals that somehow create power and will power the flashlight. So the chemical energy is actually translated into electrical energy. Okay, that's kind of how that actually starts. The power source is actually the battery. The electricity, it, the chemical energy is then transferred into electricity. So I'm kind of following that with the flashlight. So what else is going on here? I've got sound, light, and nuclear. Well, light bulb, that's giving off light. Light helps me see, so they must be talking about light energy as, as a third type of energy. So the light coming off of the light bulb would be the third thing. A flashlight really doesn't make a sound, so it doesn't like that fits the category. And a battery is not a form of nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is really a very dangerous energy that really needs to be uh, that's not something sold in stores at this point. So it's got to have a lot of uh, fail safes to protect you from nuclear energy. It is, it is a safe energy if you do use it correctly though. It's not that dangerous as long as you have all the, the safety protocols involved in it. So that's what you may have to do on the GD test is you may have to kind of read a question. Again, it, it's important to kind of read that last question, uh, what you're actually looking for, and then just kind of cipher through the details and sometimes it's easier to identify what isn't as opposed to what is, okay? And hopefully that helps you uh, do a, a drag and drop question. 